showing off the next generation in weapon systems. This armored vehicle can carry out anti-tank and surveillance missions and can operate on land and in water. It's made by Turkish manufacturer FNSS. The company has made it into the world's top 100 defense firms as ranked by the magazine Defense News. FNSS is one of seven Turkish suppliers on the list. We asked its CEO how Turkish defense firms have grown so rapidly. It is a result of uh, a very good strategy uh, established by, by the state uh, 35, 40 years ago, uh, following uh, the uh, embargo uh, imposed on Turkey after uh, Cyprus uh, event. Uh, I think we have decided to grow defense industries. So that resulted in establishment of uh, SSM then, now it is SSP, uh, with correct strategies supported by all the stakeholders uh, in the country. And of course with uh, the synergy between the state and the private sector, uh, I think we, we come a long way and uh, we have achieved this uh, significant result. In 2002, there were only 56 defense and aerospace companies in Turkey. Today, there are more than 1,500. In that time, industry revenue rose from 1 billion to nearly 11 billion dollars. This growth means Turkey is now emerging as a major exporter of arms and has seen demand rise from countries like Pakistan and Malaysia. Foreign customers say they're attracted to Turkey's high technological standards and competitive pricing. For decades, Turkey's been importing most of its military hardware, but that's all changing. The government says its reliance on foreign defense systems is now only 30%. And President Recep Tayyip Erdogan says he wants to end this dependency completely by 2023, the centennial of the Turkish Republic. Turkey's military is the second largest in the NATO Defense Alliance, with more than 350,000 active personnel. Right now, it's operating in several countries, including Syria and Iraq, and with such an extensive reach, the government believes it's essential to have a self-reliant defense industry. Ultimately, Ankara's aim is to be a leader in the field, competing with major players like the United States and Germany. And if the progress of the last two decades is anything to go by, it seems the sky's the limit. Haider Abbasi, Straight Talk, Istanbul.